Um, this week I'm going to be talking about things newbies should know when entering a military relationship. Um, it can be very, very overwhelming when, um, you know, when you find, when you realize, like, they're in the military, this is like a whole new world. And it really is. Um, I had one other military relationship before Russ, and it was just like, I was just like, whoa. <laughs> I, like, I, <laughs> I didn't realize how much of a different world it is. Um, and that's just being a military girlfriend. Um, so, one thing to keep in mind is <laughs> there's going to be a lot of things that you don't know, that you're not going to have any clue what they are. Um, that could be um, anything related to the military, like the different terms or, you know, what it's like living on base. I don't even really know that because Russ hasn't really lived on base yet um, for a, a long amount of time. So that's going to be new for us when he comes back. Um, you know, you know, if you're just starting out and your boyfriend's going to basic, you know, what deployments are going to be like, especially with the different branches and how all of that works. Um, so my suggestion is just to do some research. Um, research into the branch that your SO is in. Um, you know, research some of the terms. I mean, you might not use them, but, like, in conversation, really. But it's good to know them so when you hear them, it's not like, wait, what is that? Ask questions, not even just to your SO, but other military SOs, too. Um, that kind of leads me into the second point, which is to find support groups. Um, we have ours, <laughs> the MILSO TV, um, you know, and this might work for some people, and there are other ways to find other supports. Um, there's a whole website dedicated to military significant other support. There's a couple different tumblers. Um, find the one that works for you. Hopefully that's us. <laughs> but um, find the one that works for you, and start connecting with people and asking them questions. Um, because there might be some questions from the MILSO perspective that your significant other might not be able to answer. And that's where connecting with other people and talking to any of us or um, any of your other friends who are in a similar situation, they'll really help you to, you know, navigate what, you know, how do you, how do you even go about sending a care package overseas? There's a whole process on how to do that and what you can and can't send, um, all this different stuff. And so it's really, really important to reach out. Um, another thing, too, when it comes to your relationships and your friendships outside of um, your significant other and you, um, especially with civilians, um, just like DCSM said in one of her videos, um, don't don't lose that with them. Um, even though they might not be able to relate in every single aspect, they're still going to be important. They're, they are still important. Um, and even your family is as well. I know for me, um, my parents, <laughs> they haven't really been up to date with how the military works now. So, you know, that's also where research comes into play. You're going to need to be able to answer some of those kinds of questions um, that they might ask you. Um, so gaining that support system outside of the military community is also really important. Another thing, like I said, is to communicate with your SO. It's, that's really important. Um, just in, I mean, it's important in any relationship, but um, especially when you're just going into it and it's, it's a new thing. Probably the most important thing that you should remember when going into this, when going into a military relationship is that you are not alone. <laughs> um, that's, that's really, really important because, <laughs> I mean, even sometimes I feel like I, I'm, like, the only one going through... <laughs> sometimes I feel like I'm the only one going through a deployment, <laughs> which sounds kind of crazy because, <laughs> I mean, I talk to Russ's mom all the time, and she's going through it, and she has her, but she has her own different perspective. But, I mean, sometimes, you know, I just feel like, you know, I'm the only one. And you're not the only one. Um, 
there's always somebody that you can talk to that you can relate to. And I've made some really, really great friends um, by reaching out, um, not even just on Tumblr, um, Facebook, and even here on campus at my school, I've, you know, talked to some people, and creating those connections is, is going to be really important, and having a support system, especially when your SO is away, is very, very, very important, and that's why I'm stressing so much to find a community online that works for you and to find the support system around you as well. Um, so this video is kind of quick, but that's just my take on if you're new to all of this, it's okay. You're going to catch up. <laughs> you know, just take your time with it. You know, learn things at a decent, you can learn things at your own pace. <laughs> Um, you will learn what you need to know. I'm constantly learning still, but you, you're you always going to be learning. So just be open to learning um, new things. And um, there is going to be a lot of readjustments. I know I, I see a lot on Tumblr girls who are really scared about, um, you know, their boyfriends going into basic. And they're like, oh, my gosh. Um, personally, I haven't gone through basic, but um, one of the themes that I see is the re is readjusting. The people have a hard time readjusting to the fact that you know adjusting to, in general to the fact that their boyfriend's going to be gone. Um, they're not going to be able to talk to them um, even during deployments. Um, the military is all about readjusting. <laughs> And it sucks because it happens a lot. <laughs> That's one of the big things about the military is you have to just be able to readjust. And you can't do that alone. Um, so just there's going to be a lot of changes that's happening. And it's all normal. <laughs> Don't freak out. <laughs> I know it can get overwhelming. If anybody needs to talk about that, I'm so willing to hear. Um, I could always use some tips, <laughs> but um, but yeah, that's really that's really all. Um, that's really all I have to say about that. I just it can be a lot when you're first going into it, and it can be scary, and that's okay. It's gonna be scary at first, but like I said, once you readjust to this new world things will get into a, you'll get into a flow and um, just talk to people talk to the people that you need that's going to be really important when things progress in your relationship and as he as your relationship progresses and as his life in the military progresses so I really hope that um, I helped you guys if you have any more tips or suggestions or questions, you know, feel free to let me know and um, we can definitely talk about them. So I will see you all next week. Have a good one. Bye.